They're often trotting between horses. Legendary Lover K first away. Outside him, Plesak gets out second. Yankee Paco on the rail third. Dropped over fourth. Brummel Hanover five is credit winner. Out six, Sub-Zero K getting away seven is Heathen Hall. Eighth now is... Talon and trailing that field of trotters early is H.P. Paquet. And on the outside, driving toward the front, Plesak on the inside of him, keeping that from happening is legendary Lover K, hooked up early in a battle. Third behind them is Yankee Paco, enjoying the fight ahead of him, and now he's off the rail to the outside. Here he comes. And after two had battled, past the quarter and 27 and two, it's Yankee Paco who takes advantage of the early pace. He's driving to the outside, driving to the lead. Yankee Paco on the outside by a nose, by a neck, by half a length. Now legendary lover K, second, trotting third, please sack. Four, Brummel Hanover, five, credit winner. Six down the backside, sub zero K. Seven is Talon, racing next down the back stretch to the half mile station is Heathen Hall at the back, HP Paquet. Field being led by Hamiltonian winner, Yankee Paco. He's got him past the half in 55-4. Into the upper turn, trotting with the lead, Yankee Paco. Stalking the leader, second, legendary lover K. Here comes Brummel Hanover, following him, credit winner. They're driving toward the draw gate. On the inside, Plesak gets shuffled back. He needs racing room. He is buried along the inside, fifth. Racing six on the outside, sub-zero K. Seven is Talon, racing eight on the outside, Heathen Hall. And six lengths separates the entire field. Beautiful sight as they trot toward the three quarters in the Kentucky Futurity. On the inside, Yankee Paco, as they reach the three-quarter mile mark, Brummel Hanover has moved up on the outside. They're there in 125-4, top of the lane. Yankee Paco inside, Brummel Hanover outside, and credit winner, far outside. Here he comes. Credit winner gets to the lead. Drop back on the inside, Yankee Paco. Still in there, and the fray is Brummel Hanover. Police act tries to join him. It's going to be credit winner winning this elimination handily. Martinez cruising by four. Yankee Paco was second. It's a tight four-horse photo for two, three, four, and five in 154. Credit winner. Joining me in the winner's circle, Per Erickson, trainer of the winner, the first division of the first heat of the Kentucky Fraternity. Credit winner, Per, he's been on top of his game basically since the Hamiltonian. Uh, even uh, the months before that in, Can in Canada, Can Canadian trotting class, uh, he was really good at that time, maybe not at, at his peak, but uh, he raced good both heats in uh, Canada. And uh, come into the Hamiltonian, very good. They raced very well in the finals. Was a little far back in the last turn to really catch up to Yankee Paco, but was flying in the end of the race very well. And he was good also on the uh, track at Ducoin in the World Trotting Derby, where he, he lost to his stable mate Tejano. He was second both heats, and it looks like he'll return for the second heat in good order. I tell you that uh, double two heats he got in uh, Ducoin uh, made him really break loose. After that, he feels much stronger, he's happier, and the way he's been racing in uh, Delaware and here last week uh, is probably the best to be racing all year. So we're in good shape looking toward the second heat. And let's uh, send congratulations out to the owners and to Jimmy Martinez, who's done really a wonderful job with the horse all year for you. Oh, yeah. He drew him beautiful today. I mean, he cannot drive him better than that. All year long, he's been driving him good. I have no complaints. Uh, uh, it's just a pleasure to be around uh, both driver and horse. And it's fun to win these big races, too. Oh, there's nothing else. <laughs> per Erickson, he'll be back with credit winner in the second heat of the Kentucky Futurity.